What up for you guys, this is JRoss aka okay, Jonas the Barber back at again with another horn like video. Today I got something special for you guys, another budget beater. I found this one on takealot.com, well I say fatalot.com. Um, I got a cordless trimmer, a budget beater one that's reminiscent of the wild detailer guys. The cordless wild detailer, this one it actually retails for 750 bucks. Whilst the wild cordless detailer goes for an average price of 3.2. Well, without any further ado, let's get into the unboxing, guys. Let's go! Alright, guys, let's get into the unboxing. Um, finally, today I got my tripod sent so we won't be struggling to get anything out of the box like last time. Now I can have both hands free, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so the box came into a, a nice and small package. Now let's get the box open. And then the clipper on show today is the VGR, the VGR cordless trimmer, looks like that. Hopefully this thing stays in focus. Um, let's see, I might have to adjust the auto for the focus here. Okay guys, so we got the VGR clipper today. It looks exactly like the wild cordless detailer as you guys can see. Okay, so it says there, um, let's just get this thing to focus. Product number is the VGR V30 Professional Hair Trimmer. It has a precision T blade, with precision blades stay, uh, it says the precision blades stay sharp. It says uh, on and off switch, easy to operate, convenient and practical. I like this here yeah, as opposed to the detailer where you switch, where you know the manual, the, the, the quarter detailer where you switch it on from the bottom. Usually when you're using the quarter detailer and you're lining up somebody, it actually switches off the clipper from time to time when you knock it with your finger, you know. Uh, there's an LED, a green LED indicator, working and fully charged as the green LED uh, um, states. And then it has a red indicator whilst charging or low battery. Uh, what else is there? So it has, it has what it comes with, it says there. It's a air trimmer, it has a protection cap, there's five piece guide comb, charging time of 120 minutes with a working time of 120 minutes. It has USB charging and then this item is made in what? Conformity with the FCCC. I don't know what that is but yeah. Uh, let's just get this bad boy open. Let me just get my knife. Alright, so we got our trusty kitchen knife alright, yeah? We got our trusty kitchen knife. Just gonna make an incision here. Yeah? Just gonna switch autofocus back on. Okay, just got a trusty knife here. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Okay, so zoom out here quickly. Alright, so this is it, the VGR clipper. Ah, oh, it looks very nice, eh? Looks very nice. Uh, we'll just put this off to the side there. Let's see what else we get in the box. Alright, so you get the display manual. Okay, so it has a manual with the safety and all that jazz. And throw that off to the side as you usually do. You get a nice lengthy extension uh, charging cable. Almost that extension cable. Uh, you can see it plugs in there with the two prong. It's USB, so you can use your phone charger, charging block. Seems to be about two meters long. It's quite lengthy this cable, so I'm, I'm happy to see that. You have your five guard combs, which I doubt anybody uses. I haven't seen any barber use this. It's nice to have, but yeah, chuck that away. We have our trusty clipper oil, trimmer oil, you know, to keep the blades nice and uh, smooth and sharp going. You have a cleaning brush, never use that. Uh, yeah, let's chuck that all there. And there we go, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's a very nice clipper, it says it's made, in the, it's made in the PRC, as we all know. Actually, for those that don't know, the PRC is actually a fancy name for China. It's another branding they've used for products have made in China so that people would be more likely to buy it because they don't see the brand China. Yeah, just for those that didn't know. Okay, let's get this guard off. Let's get the guard off. 
Yeah, it looks to be about a wild detailer blade there. We might actually be able to fit a wild detailer blade on this as well, eh? I must say, in first impressions, the clipper looks very nice. It has a nice weight to it. It doesn't feel too heavy or too light. It doesn't feel cheap. And yeah, let's switch it. Oh, okay, I see it as you can use. You can charge with a micro USB port, so you can actually literally charge it with your phone phone charger. And then the, the charging two prong uh, input there, as we saw earlier with the cable. Let's switch it on for the first time. Okay, so there you go. It has a bit of power to it, eh? I can't stop it with my finger. It has a bit of power to it. Sounds nice. Doesn't feel too vibrating in your hands. Feels very comfortable. I think I can get behind this design and everything else, eh? I've never actually used the cordless detailer, so I can't compare it to that. But I must say, first impressions, this thing, this thing does look very nice. It looks like there's like a um, crocodile or snake print in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very nice. I like the gun metal chrome that I've made it with VGR. And then let's see if this thing is zero gapped. I can't see. Okay, there we go. We have it in focus now. Doesn't look like it's zero gapped. But I'm sure we can, we get it zero gapped. Hopefully, hopefully. It looks to be the same design as well. Looks to be the same design as the wild detailer. Yeah, and well that's final shots of it. Final on to. That's how it sounds. Alright guys, that's it for the unboxing video. Stay tuned for the review coming. Alright guys, so that's gonna do it for today's Horned Lake video. If you like what you guys saw, hit that subscribe button. Um, hit the like button. Comment below of anything else that you guys would like to see in the upcoming review. You know that's coming soon as you know. Give it about 2-3 uh, weeks, you know. We just gotta test the clipper out and all that jazz. And then yeah, we'll be coming live with the review soon. Um, if you guys want to stay up to date with my socials and anything else, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Um, I recently started the TikTok, but still need to add to that. But yeah, if you want to stay up to date with my, my socials, like I said, Twitter is the best place to catch me live. And yeah, stay blessed, stay safe. That's going to do it for today's Horned Luck video, peeps.